What up, guys? I'm Madwag Jackson. I'm Sunray. And welcome to another episode of Madwag and Sunray React. Today we're going to be reacting to... What? Weird obses Obsessions? Weird Obsession TikToks. So, yeah. Before we get into it, I want to remind you guys to... Hit that like button because everyone watches a video and no one likes it. That's weird. Just like the video. It's not mm -hmm. that hard. And don't forget to subscribe. And again, if you guys have videos you want us to react to, send them to us. You, there's a bazillion ways. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Love sniffing and chewing dirty diapers. What? <laughs> It has to have pee in it. It has to have pee in it. The heavier ones that have more pee, smell better. Yeah. Mmm. This one's soft. Okay, I can see I where love this is going. This <laughs> tastes away. amazing. I have one while I'm cooking in the kitchen. I have one in my drawers. I have one while I'm sleeping. Oh. I keep some in my trunk. I keep some in my pocketbook. No, for real. It tastes good. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay, continue. Mm. Like, you know when you're walking into a room and you smell like a strong smell like food and you can kind of taste it? That's what it's like. Okay, so that was, um, what a, what, what a video to start off with. The Seriously. end. The end. The last thing she said. It's like walking into a room or a restaurant and they're cooking food and you can just taste it. Duh. Uh, fuck. Yeah, seriously. Like, Has she tasted it? I think she said she likes to sniff it and eat it. Or oh, she did say it. chew on it. Ooh. That is so weird. So glad that they didn't show that from? video. Oh, God. Ew. Okay. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, partake with us, light those up, because this is going to be a weird episode. <laughs> All right. Next. Hi, my name is Veronica Malburn, and my 13-year-old son, Jake, is obsessed with acting like a cat. It all started when we found a couple stray cats in our yard when Jake was eight, and we were feeding them because the mother abandoned them, and they were very malnourished. After a few weeks, we decided to take them in. Then a couple days later, Jake started Okay, we're pausing hissing. for a second because, funny little side story, before this gets any deeper, I don't know what's going to happen. So I want to tell my story first. <laughs> <laughs> so far, not that weird. Okay, I used to walk around pretending I was an animal when I was a little kid. 13, I just seen. Okay, so I was uh, younger than 13, to be clear. But I totally, when you're a little kid, I remember walking around pretending to be, like, a lion or a bear or something. I don't know, maybe it was just me. Was it just me? No. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to call out what cousin it was, but me and one of my cousins used to walk around our house on all fours and bark like little puppies and lift our leg and pee on everything. <laughs> Even not actually pee on everything, but we would go, psst, 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 like, <laughs> we were a boy dog. So, but I was like six. Yeah. Seven. Same. Little, not 13. Okay. I guess let's see where this goes. As he became agitated about different things. Now, Jake, come over and put away your sneakers, please, like I asked you to. A few weeks later, Jake requested that I started feeding him his meals out of the cat food dishes. That's okay, it wasn't when like this. started getting a little concerning. We had playtime. Then things started evolving more quickly with Jake's behavior. He started getting down on his hands and knees and rubbing against my legs and meowing, wanting me to pet him behind the ear for attention. Slowly, he started incorporating more fish into his diet, and as of a few months ago, he became a total pescatarian. On Mondays and Fridays, we feed him tuna. On Tuesdays, we feed him tilapia. On Wednesdays, we feed him haddock. 
and on the weekends he gets something special like sea bass. Eventually, I fear I'm going to have to replace the litter box with a bigger one. No. At first, I thought it was funny and cute when he started acting like a cat. Okay. Oh. Okay. Litter box? Did she um, say litter box? She sure <laughs> did. She said litter box. Um, you know, with all the fish he's eating, you would think uh, his his brain would be developing a lot better than that. And All those omega ones he's supposedly getting or omega whatever they are. Yeah, so, yeah, omega 3s or something, like, something that. like that. He's probably got some really good joints, but as a mother, like, why would you full on allow that? I would be like, okay, it's yeah. it's not, it's time to stop playing. You need to go do your real homework. Like, that's, no. That's, that's weird. <laughs> no. I think like we said at the beginning, um, after the age of like, <laughs> I'm going to even be generous here after the age of eight and that still continued, I would be seeking help mm. and mm, that would be stopping. Nope. Yeah, that, that was mm -hmm. weird. All right, let's see what the hell this next crazy person's up to. My name is Linda. I'm 56 years old. I live outside of Tampa, Florida with my husband of three years. I am happily married to a carnival ride called a skydiver. His name is Bruce, and we've known each other since 1981. <laughs> My first relationship was with an airplane. What? The last serious relationship I had before I met Bruce was with Bruce. a locomotive. Bruce. Um, that didn't work out. So she's been Some with an airplane, like a train, a train and this thing is, He's what all is it called? That, you know, and to me, um, I mean, Bruce is just amazing it's just, it's a Bruce. he stands up and, and, and just being spread out. Is it a crew? Okay. okay. I'm 56 hold on, years hold old. on. I want to hear her say it. I live outside of Tampa, Florida with my husband of three years. I am happily married to a carnival ride. Oh, a it's a diver. carnival ride. That's what it was. A carnival ride called the Sky Diver. Um, seriously, we can marry <sighs> ominous. Am I saying that right? No. no. We can marry <laughs> objects, but gay rights had a really long journey. What? Yes, what? for real. How long were you married to the to the plane before you were married to the train? Because we've only been married for legally for how many years? Almost eight, or no, eight years. Eight years legally. That you guys decided we could get married, and she's been through two relationships, <laughs> divorces with inanimate objects. Say what? How do you marry? Like, she must have some money, though. Okay, because... Does she own these planes and trains and automobiles? Or... Is she breaking into people's backyards and, like, just spending time with them when they're not paying attention? I need some more on this story. I don't even know what else to say about this one. How does sexy time happen? Like, I don't want to know. I do. I do. Because, I, I mean, it's an airplane. She can't even... Is she tall enough to tickle its nutsack? <laughs> like, does she hump the seats inside? I don't know. That It's very odd. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, on to the next. Let's see. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Oh, and now the weirdo. In relationship with his car this time. Morning, baby. You're handsome man. Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. I've actually seen this one on... Um, his body and then his interior and everything. That TV just show just Weird Obsession. I just felt an instant connection. I think I've and seen a story similar. It probably yeah, the same one. The way actually. he lays under it right now, that's how he does oh, it. Baby. Yeah. Oh my god, that is. I don't man. understand. I mean, I, I understand. Nathaniel is in a committed relationship. Like, with a car loving that your named. car. Like, you hear people talk, oh, that we ours is named Dudley. Like, 
give it a personality, but I, I just don't. We're, we're I not in a get it. We in a relationship? Not in a relationship. With I mean, we're him. inside of him all the time because he is an RV. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I don't go around kissing my walls or hood of my car going, oh, nothing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go around doing that either, but if he breaks down and he turns on again, I've been known to kiss a hood or two, okay? <laughs> Just saying. But other than that, no. I, we have normal car love. <laughs> I would hope so, but the more I think about it, I'm like, I don't know. In a normal conversation, they're like... Tell us about yourself, and dude comes up. Tell, Tell us about your family. We got three fur babies, <laughs> wifey. Wifey obviously comes. <laughs> wifey, we got two kitties, one pup, and Dudley, Dudley. usually follows. <laughs> so, I mean, total mm -hmm. member of the yeah. family. Member of the family. Even, that type of relationship. Even members of the family call it anything. member of the family. How's Dudley? <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. That got a little awkward. Hey, here, don't oh. <laughs> Which one you want, sweetheart? The woman is purple. Oh, so purple? Thank you. But it is purple. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, this is good food. Did you really bring foam? Foam. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Brittany. I thought you was done with that. Like, you're old enough now. Did you just, like, do it as a chaser with donuts? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't chase donuts with you need foam. need to stop trying to eat that stuff. Oh, uh, you need to eat your food. And you need to actually eat food. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did she? Oh, Lord, and she just swallowed it like a pill. Uh, me and Monty's relationship is... I want to say estranged, but... I don't know. It's like it functions in our own way. Ate her entire couch. Oh, money had this delicious couch. It was the best thing I've ever had in my life. And she noticed I was eating it. And then she tried to ban me from her house. I kept finding ways to get over there, like, because she had my niece. And I'm like, oh, I just want to see my niece. I really wanted to see that couch. Kind of my niece, but mostly the couch. I really wanted oh, to see man. that couch. I don't want to be in my house thinking, OK, what has foam and what doesn't? What do I need to hide? I just say, just stay in this area where I can see you. I think the kitchen is safe. <laughs> I'm going to have to find you. Mm. Whole new meanie, the couch potato. <laughs> you don't want to find out? No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Well, we want you to find out. You're not just living for yourself right now. You're living for your child. You have a child now, Brittany. So you're a mother of a whole nother person. Someone dated her knowing she advice. eats couches. Shout out how to you that feel person. If was or is both? that why they're not there anymore? I would feel like Eliza has Good autonomy question. to do whatever she wants with her life as long as it's not. What, killing her? Anybody. Like you in this home? And what a uh, medical doctor place that you study at? Well, medical how about doctor we place. Not do that and we actually go to the doctor so that right. you can actually have a for sure answer. We right want now. you to go see somebody that can help. How about you? you just get the help that you, you need? When I feel like I have a problem, then I will go get the take help that ownership, I need. Brittany. The only help at the that end I need of day, is removing myself from this conversation. No, you myself. need to take ownership, Brittany. Okay. I well, hope I'll... that next trip is when you leave out this door to go see a doctor. Prove me wrong. My sister's over here making comments like you We're gonna pause it right there because uh I've already seen one kind of like this, too, and I've seen enough of this one. I agree. Um, yeah. You, you were at the point where you need help. When you said, I would pretend to come over to want to <laughs> see my niece, but I really wanted to see the couch. Red flag. Yeah, or <laughs> when she ate her entire own couch. That's what I read, right? <laughs> No, she ate her entire sister's couch. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She was making excuses to go over okay, there yeah. to see the oh, couch because God. they eventually, eventually, they 
<laughs> she stopped being allowed over, so she had to make up reasons to be allowed. That is that is a weird don't do weird that obsession. Yeah. This is so unhealthy for you. I've seen the conclusion in another one of those mm. obsessed episodes on TV and you get so freaking sick from that. Don't do that. And it's just disgusting. And as my wifey pointed out, no one's gonna date you and if they are they're gonna they're gonna leave you. So don't do that. We're gonna go to the next one. Next that's a pretty long one and I don't want to see the drama. I do wet my diapers. Adult baby. I don't do anything else in them. I never have to use public restrooms, which is, you know, something that is very lovely because public restrooms are horrible. I agree, they are horrible, but I don't wear a diaper. I don't want to sit in my own pee. What is this? I have no idea. Few people know of Riley's addiction. It's hard to tell somebody Someone's because there's always been that fear. Few that people know about they will this. Completely being super negative to how do you hide it you wear a freaking diaper Candace has been one of Riley's closest friends for over seven years but because Candace lives in another town she has no idea Riley is living most of her life as a baby today Riley is finally ready to confide in Candace and reveal her addiction um you know I'm transgendered you know I've been living as a girl for Ever. You know all about that, but I have something to talk to you about. Um, okay. I'm just going to give it a minute. And oh. Rude. I know. Why did they got to cut it off like that? Like, at least let them finish what they were saying. I got something to tell you. I'm um, actually, I, you know, I've been living as a female for the last 37, 38 years. But, honey, I'm actually a dinosaur. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm actually a cunt. I wasn't supposed to actually say it. Shit, well, yeah, I missed you weren't supposed to see my reaction that either. <laughs> Shit. Well, we're not very good at that. Excuse me while I yell at my dog. Knock it off. Sit still. <laughs> Damn. You could sit here. Just sit still. Like say, all, all right, say... Place. If you can see here, there's a dog in my lap. That's what this weird little thing over here that keeps flopping around is and knocking everything over. And Bam if, saying hello. And if you see the camera shake, it's our cats running around like crazy. Yes, they're all kind oh, of being there, crazy. Well, there's a head. There's a head. Hello, Bam. Lay down. She wanted to make an appearance this, this show. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, she yeah. Is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. She's trying to be Ugh. in the show. She's taking over. Spam's world. <laughs> I'll try to leave you in the video, but if you get cut out, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Moving okay. on. Right. Adult baby. No. You seen that TikTok? I tried it the other day. Let's try it again real fast. What do you think? Just kiss your dog on the head and see what she does. Pretty much the same thing she did in the damn TikTok here. <laughs> she finally kissed me, but it took forever. All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. She gets hyped up. Yes, very easily. Means. Back to the TikToks. Why is there so much suffering, right? Why if there is a God oh, is out sponsor. there that oh. supposedly <laughs> loves us? In next. Like a hose attached to the bottom delivers the Woman liquid to the lower to intestine. Once it's all coffee prepped, enemas the right temperature, put the nozzle into I've your rectum, hold it up in the air. As they raise the bucket, 32 ounces of coffee fills their colon. You'll start to feel pressure growing in your lower intestine, and that's the freaky part. And just lay there and try to relax. I will listen to music, catch up on TV shows, read, check my email, I'll tweet, I even play Sudoku. <laughs> When the timer goes off, yeah, you want to make just a quick transition from floor to toilet seat as quickly as possible. Why? It's going to come it's... flying out of there like a, like a torrent. I do think it is just really kind of gross. Gross. <laughs> really kind of gross. 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 So the point is, I've heard of this. I don't know if this is factual. So, I mean, 
if you want to do this, consult a professional first, please. But an enema is supposed to clear out your system. It's something the coffee extra helps it or something. I don't know. I just, but I have um, heard of this before. Sounds very time consuming and you could get more accomplished just by drinking a regular cup of coffee <laughs> and taking the normal flu it gives you. Uh, I, and then like, I, I don't know. No, at I, least I, when I agree. people do wine enemas, they're getting drunk. <laughs> like, what's the point? Other okay, I guess you just said, but still, it doesn't sound fun <laughs> at all. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate on the wine enemas for us <laughs> since you never brought heard that up? Do that. Oh no, I have. But I just didn't expect you to bring that up. So would you like to... Uh... I used to hang out with a lot of gay boys. <laughs> oh, I was wondering if you were going to say that. All the time. She hasn't only heard of this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she knows people who have partaken. We'll save that for another episode. How about that? Get this episode to... Uh, a hundred likes and... I will rat these people out. <laughs> tell you all the crazy stories. I'll tell you all of her crazy stories. But for now, I guess we'll get back to the TikToks. I love air freshener. I love it. Absolutely. What I love about drinking air freshener is the taste. There is a million air fresheners out there, but the one that I like is fresh linen. I've tried other scents, but I don't like them. None of them taste like they say they smell. Cinnamon is not cinnamon. Apple crisp is like dirt. I've got to have fresh linen. I literally crave it. In the last three years, there's Out of not all a day the where flavors, I've not fresh had it. linen? Seriously? There's so many more better options. Like when I first started, it was accident, basically. Accident. I was walking through my hallway after going to get a cup of crushed ice. They're automatic sprayers that fresh in the house. Sprayed as I was walking past. <laughs> it dusted the rim of my glass. It was a flavor that I liked. Ooh, that there are only two delicious. ways that I have my air freshener. One is straight out of the can. The can has to be extremely cold. I oh, make my it has to be to bowl, cold, so too. Catch it. We're picky in and our it weird obsession. Over crushed ice. So we just spray it over the ice. And then you just eat it from there. <sighs> There's a feeling when I eat it, it's a sense of completion. Like I have found it, that craving is gone. It's okay now. Uh, oh, oh, this was coming out of her nose. Oh, man. <laughs> I have two boys, oh, one's eight and one is two. I try not to let my kids see me use the air freshener just because I don't want them to obtain that habit as well. And yeah, don't let your kids obtain that habit. Air freshener. What, what, what the what? Seriously. What the what? <laughs> uh, and why fresh linen? That's the one that my brain associates with poo because gas stations always have that scent and that's how they cover up the bathroom smell. Yeah. So my brain the automatically is like, that's a bathroom smell. It's one of the strongest scents. And I mean, you're dr eat, drinking it, ingesting it. One, I don't know, cinnamon, cinnamon apple. Yeah. Lemon. <laughs> well, she said they tasted like dirt or whatever. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Here's an idea. Good. Don't fucking eat it. Oh, man. I mean, like... How are these people not sick? <clears throat> it's a good question, but we also got to remember people smoke a lot more chemicals than that, too. So, I mean, I guess it could be uh, worse, but I don't I think it's good we... for you at all. No. I mean, huffing is bad for you, so I feel like it's a combination of your huffing, because it's a fucking inhalant. It's a spray. There's got to be that chemical. Plus, God only knows what's naturally in air freshener, but Chica, I hope you're still alive in like a year. Go to the doctor and yeah. Please don't let your kids do that. Mm -mm. And again, again, this. though, again, another weirdo with a habit who still somehow managed to have a partner. <laughs> huh. All right. Ten years ago, I was addicted Eating to pottery and chocolate. cigarette ash. 
I'm eating pottery two to three hours a day. The thing I love most about eating pottery is the texture of it and how it smells when I'm eating it. It smells like fresh soil right after it rains. <laughs> the last when one didn't Bianca like the taste girl, of dirt and this one likes flower it. Bed and just have the best time eating dirt. So I knew from early on that she had a taste to the earth. A taste to the earth. Maybe, maybe mom could have washed the vegetables a little better and prevented and this. kind of gritty. And I like the way it dissolves on my tongue. I don't smoke, but my older sister, she smokes. And that's where I get my cigarette ashes from. I don't know how she can actually crave ashes. It's disgusting. That is disgusting. Stop, Bianca. Ew. <laughs> Ugh. Gross. That is wild. Like, just fucking smoke. I'm gonna try it ready. No. No, I don't want <laughs> But we did used to have a cat that was legit oh addicted God. to... Uh, she became addicted to eating our cigarette butts. Yeah, we would have to make sure we dumped our ashtrays and she couldn't get in the trash mm -hmm. because she would, in the middle of the night, eat all of our cigarette butts. Yeah, not <laughs> not just the ash, the entire cigarette yeah. butt. We would we woke up a couple times before we caught on and we thought it was an accident. They just spilled it, whatever. And there's the ashtray and little butts all over the floor were like oh they dumped it over and chased them around they thought they were toys because we had two two mm -hmm. cats at the time and it kept happening so eventually we came home or something walked into the room or something and literally busted her you taking one out of it yeah with her busted mouth. her with her head or the frick ashtray all uh -huh. we're like shisha that was her name shisha, shisha. and she she looked up, looked at us with the cigarette butt and took off. <laughs> and that's how we knew from then on. From then on, it was like, if it wasn't a secret anymore. It's like she knew we knew. So she didn't try to hide it. Mm -hmm. We would get up from the couch and she would see steal the ashtray. She'd be like, stroll up to it and try to steal our cigarette butts. <laughs> Shisha, by the way, is uh, actually a... Um, a slang word for tobacco. That's what they call the tobacco that you smoke out of hookah. Uh, hookah. Hookah tobacco. Mm -hmm. So maybe we accidentally inadvertently did that, but <laughs> I'm sorry, my poor babes, but mm. that was funny. We stopped it. She eventually did get over it. My mom is addicted to sugar. 47 year old Christine is completely dependent on sugar. When I'm chewing candy, it, it's comforting to me. Sugar is the love of my life. Christine devours cake for breakfast, bags of sweets for lunch, and Sundays for dinner. How is she not ginormous? All day, every day. Each Diabetes. day, she consumes over six and a half thousand calories in nothing but sweets. My mom can't even go one hour without eating sugar. I when just I wake up in the morning, I have to reach a over grave made out breath, of sugar. Horrifies sugar addict. I eat it first thing in the morning. I eat it while I'm grave driving. Made out of five bags of jelly beans. She has the mentality of a five-year-old when she goes grocery shopping. I want to see this grave. This is food and sugar. This is what I buy, and this would only last me a week. A week. <laughs> Before I was a diabetic, Christine that would last me three days. Rural, Nebraska, as one of eight children, that makes my stomach hurt. She never enjoyed any of the fresh foods the farm had to offer. I liked the the candy and the, the ho-hos and the Twinkies. They made me happy. Christine married young, at the age of 20, and she and her husband had two children. But five years later, their marriage turned sour. After a bitter divorce, Christine's children went to live with their father. Devastated, Christine turned to sugar. Sugar. My mom being separated from us was very hard. Ba, ba, I was um, the sugar, one, I guess you could say, <laughs> and so I had to be the fun mom. So when my kids came, we went for ice cream, we baked cookies, we ate candy. She fed us sugar all the time. You could go to any cupboard, any drawer, and there was candy there waiting for you. But there was never a home-cooked, sit-down meal with my mom. 
I feel like sugar makes you What happy. is that? Was that home cooked? She's so sitting down. Eating sugar you can have home cooked brownies for dinner. I wanted my kids to mm. think I was happy. Happy. My name is Dr. Mike Dow. I'm a psychotherapist and I specialize in addictive behaviors and eating disorders. My name is JJ Virgin and I'm a board certified nutrition specialist. Kevin called us today because he is very concerned about his mother's health and rightly so. Her daily consumption of sugar is staggering. Thank you very much for meeting me here. My mom doesn't know I'm here. She just lives a few blocks down. And uh, I want to make sure that she gets uh, some lives help. on the same block. Uh, I live in Texas. Mommy, and uh, she doesn't have anybody else out here. So she's certainly lonely and, and it is a lot of isolation. The stakes are high. We are talking about Christine's health, happiness, and really her life. All right, well, let's go meet her. I'm nervous. My mom's really stubborn and stuck in her ways, and it's going to be hard for JJ and Dr. Dow to crack that. Dun, dun, dun. Christine has no idea, no idea that Kevin, JJ, and I are about to enter in her life and help her to enter treatment. And cut oh off. my god, and they left us hanging again. It's okay because we already know what happens because I already told you. This bitch, if she doesn't already have it, she's she's a diabetic. And the reason she's not fat is because um there's two kinds. There are fat kind and there are skinny kind. So yeah, she's a diabetic. But, wow. And, <laughs> I mean, I'm a diabetic too, but I didn't eat that much sugar, okay? I was just joking. That's, that's fucking, that's insane. That was a lot of sugar. And hell no, who eats black licorice? You people yeah. are insane. No, I hate black licorice. <clears throat> okay. My strange. Oh, I'm Sydney, I'm 29 years old, and I have a really long neck. <laughs> Really in order for me neck. to add more rings come on in my necklace designer required me to get a doctor's note what brings you in today someone well, gave her a doctor's note because i would like to add an extra ring to the necklace well i'm going to examine you and then make sure that everything's okay the neck is very important because the neck is what keeps your head upright rotate to the right good and some of the immediate That's reaction left. once you or put another ring right? <laughs> you will have a decrease in muscle in the neck pretty because neck. your neck is I getting don't. longer now but there's no rings on your it your muscles so. are becoming weak if you like it then you should have put a ring on it if for any reason no, you ever babe. take it off your head will oh god <laughs> and if that ever happens you are stuck with pain for the rest of your life i think that is a myth it's a myth. And I find the doctor it just said so, but it's but a myth. I don't feel worried. Well, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Does that mean I'll get a doctor's note? You know, I don't know. We could probably add another ring. I would just, you know, try it out, see how it is. Okay? Try well, it out. So, uh, it let's start with one. I do worry for her. I feel like Sydney does have an addiction, and the addiction can grow to a larger scale. Doctor Sherf is Well, I mean, there's cultures an and he's in right. other parts of the world where this but is a thing that you, they until I'm put rings fine, on their wives. I don't wives. see any reason why I should stop. In other, in other cultures, in other parts of the world don't, where no, 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 we don't no, have no, modern this medicine. This is not going exactly. to end well. This is a doctor. I feel like a limb Ooh. is being removed. Oh, oh, oh. Is it off? She I mean, it's not pretty. I should I take it all off? Oh. oh. Oh, weird. So, in the, I'm Sydney. in the other cultures, if I'm remembering correctly, oh God, the cats are going crazy. But if I'm remembering correctly, when the women get married, or maybe it starts when they're young, but if they get caught cheating or anything like that, their husbands take it off so their necks snap and they die. I know, I don't know, I don't recall the meaning behind it, but I'm sure it's something along those lines. But my, my concern or issue with this video is the doctor knew there was an issue. He said multiple times he was concerned yet still turned around and gave her the doctor's note to get another one on camera like i feel <laughs> like that guy should be like i don't know written up for negligence whatever whatever the proper term is because that's 
I don't know. That's kind of messed up. That was strange. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> this woman weighs over 900 home. pounds. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just have a salted caramel, whatever that thing is you get me. Uh -huh. I'll just have a salted caramel, whatever that thing is that you I just gave me. Right? Tell me that was it. Accurate AF. Well, guys I just want a salted caramel. She sounds more dyke mm. than I do. I just want a salted caramel. I've been following Dr. Now's diet for the most part. <laughs> okay. The only difference is I still give myself treats and little rewards here and there to for help the deal with part. things. <laughs> I ate one celery stick. Get me a caramel and, macchiato. Yeah, <laughs> and I still give myself by the gallon once every week to help motivate me. Because I can push myself knowing that I'll have a reward waiting for me. <laughs> Just want to make food because I love it. So that's how I kind of trick myself into eating less. Because my eating has been drastically less than it has been my entire adult life. To the point where it just feels insane to me at times because I don't feel like I've really been eating. So hopefully this is enough to show Dr. Now what he wants. So I can get transferred to Houston and ultimately have weight loss surgery. Okay, so this is part four, so it kind of sounds like that she's because on Because I know I can't keep doing this on my own. Journey. It's just too hard to control my eating. Hopefully better result. And to keep cutting back yeah. like I have been. It's way too hard without something stopping me from eating and help me change my habits because I just can't do it on my own. So I desperately need to get weight loss surgery or I'm not going to be able to succeed at this and change my life the way I need. And I've worked really hard to be able to move towards getting it. And hopefully when I go to the hospital next week, it all goes as planned. So this time next month, I'll be in Houston preparing to get the surgery and start with a new chance at a better life. It's like her voice got normal and then it got weird again at the end. So that this time... This next week, I can be uh, healthy and normal again. <laughs> so, I feel like this veered off a little bit from Weird Obsessions. That was just one of those stories. But Well, no, she's obsessed with eating, but, I mean, yeah, we're kind of... I notice we're kind of catching random parts of episodes yeah. unfortunately like that was part four where's the tickety tockities who knows how many parts but i mean good luck to you i hope that that is uh you're bettering yourself situation and not a we don't see you <laughs> we don't see part seven and it's we don't you know, know the end result 1200 pounds hope you're good oh you shit so dead, spoke too soon uh. This is someone else. Oh my my normal day for me is wake up around 12, figure out something I'm going to eat immediately. TV, video games, Three bed. Out. It's not a lot of activity. It's hot. It's hot in Georgia. And all my clothing I think is restricting and tight. So I just sit in there and free babe. as can be. And no one bothers me. Door shut. We're good. I'm just safe. And video games are where I escape. Oh no, he's got it. Oh god, he's got that one guy that's gonna kill me. Oh no, he's weak, but I'm weak. I'm weak. Oh, I'm gonna die. He's down. I've always been a big kid. Out of high school, I was probably 300 something pounds. But then I got out of school, got a couple of jobs at a couple of restaurants. I ate at them. I ate at them. That's I was what probably you around 500 pounds then, and uh, it was just getting too difficult to work, so I quit my job. My mom said, to live in this house, you have to have a job. So she kicked me out, and I, the only place I had left to go was my father's. So I went there. Basically, his one thing that knew made me happy was food. So we just ate like kings, but like in the worst way. <sighs> I can't watch this. Enabling, enabling, out. enabling, Japanese enabling. Food. Okay, we're getting back to addictions. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I, I just, I hope that these people got healthier and lived healthy, happy lives after these TikToks and videos. I wish you best of luck. I know a lot of times it's um, medical, so I don't want to hate on anyone. That's why I kind of skipped that video as well, because I, I understand there's issues, but at some point it's, you, oh, I think if you had a medical issue, your doctor would be there to help mm -hmm. you way before you reach three thousand pounds i think some of it's mental too you know for sure wow uh, 
Yeah. All right. Best of luck yeah. to you guys. Anyways. Back to the weird addictions and obsessions. World's strangest addictions. Hard five. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee. Eating her husband? And I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. Though Casey initially found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side, her addiction has recently evolved. Oh, hell no. She with the eats transfer it. of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. Oh, and I didn't want to wipe, wipe them off, because that's my husband. I don't want to wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers, and... Is that cannibalism at that point? Like I, later, and I can't stop. Extra, extra, extra crispy. <laughs> Maybe she's trying to Ooh. possess his spirit. That me being a spiritual person, I'm just like, what kind of weird shit? What kind of weird doors did you open by doing that? You would take it that way. I know I would. I'm like the beginning of this video I'm like she eats her husband okay like does she just go hey she eats I'm her husband I was like cool hopefully he eats you back <laughs> but then it immediately went to wait a minute does she like eat part of his and then it turns out that he was ashes and then right away immediately I knew this was going to a bad place I mean eating your husband other than any kind of sexual manner <laughs> Is going to a bad place. Yeah, but, but you yeah. add on the fact that he's dead and you're eating his freaking ashes. He has no consent. I mean, if you want to get weird, at least let the dude be alive and eat a fucking eat nails. They grow back or something. Like that's gross too, but no. Mm. What is she gonna do when he runs out? Oh my god. That's so that's so um something to make you think. The way her friend moved in front of her stomach, they all knew. What did they know? What's happening? Oh, she's pregnant. Oh, yeah, that one's pregnant. Mm. I had a feeling. What part of this is a weird obsession? She knows. <laughs> oh, well, she knows. Oh, shit. That song that they're playing is uh, She Knows. They're probably going to have to mute oh, that yeah. for uh, stupid copyright purposes. She knows. She oh, knows. oh, she knows. <laughs> but yeah, that's. Not to be a weird obsession. By the fourth evening, Whitney is making progress. It's been 18 months since I've eaten solid rubbing off foods. And dinner. Here, we'll swallow a piece together. This one's a yes, little less else. way out there. Let's see. Good job. Excellent job. But Whitney knows there's still one bridge she can't bring herself to cross. I'm afraid that I will never again be comfortable eating meat. I don't know what this is. This hurts. Whitney is also experiencing stomach pains and bloating after meals, which is causing her worry. It's concerning. I don't know. Is it normal? Is it not normal? It's probably normal if you don't hey, on it. How's it going? ever digest on anything seven, that's not Dr. already Dow and blended. Dr. returned to check on Whitney's progress. Although yeah, Whitney's last that four days are home were easy, she still managed to add six mini meals and supplements to her daily diet. But now she needs to find out what's causing her stomach pains. I'm getting a lot of pain, a lot of bloating. Whitney's stomach is hurting because her whole intestinal system hasn't really had to work for 18 months. I don't know if my stomach isn't working. Oh, know, well, now she started working. slowly eating again, so her stomach's like, <laughs> what the fuck is yeah, this? Exactly. Oh my god, exactly. Blah, 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 blah. She's it's all, awesome oh my god, my stomach is my doing its normal. job. Ow. It's bloated. <laughs> I have to fart, but I'm not used to that, so... Oh my god! <laughs> it's a long awaited evening out with his wife. In the last 18 months, me and Whitney haven't had too? dinner and out, you know? It was a These huge part of our marriage that's missing. What are you gonna have? Steak actually sounds really good. 
So, <laughs> Ouch. Is that for Whitney's like a burn? Oh, here we go. And a chini with spicy They're out to dinner balls. and he orders a steak. Eating meat again. That is a very big step for her. Pork infused meatballs for you. Oh my gosh. The first thing I thought of when my plate was set down in front of me was, there's no way I'm going to be able to eat that. That looks really good. Yeah, it does. I agree. I'll make you a deal. You eat some meat. I'll try one of the broccoli. I'll try a broccoli. That's not even the same ballpark for this chick, bro. <laughs> Ready? Come on. Uh, why? I hate that. <laughs> I'm not gonna go look for the fourth and fifth and sixth and tenth part. Right? Damn it. Damn you people. Shit. Wait, that I don't think that one's out of the ordinary, especially if she had stomach issues yeah, I before. Think, I think we might need some con further context on yeah. that. Again, part three, so is this an obsession? Did she choose to do this on her own, or is there something medically wrong yeah. that she had to start eating a liquid diet? Exactly. Because that's a thing. But again, you usually have a doctor's order recommendation yeah. to do so, and then still there are health requirements. <laughs> like, you can't just be blending whatever you want and calling it good mm -hmm. you, like you still have to eat your food like vitamins groups. and minerals and proteins yeah you can't just eat jello every day and expect to be okay all right yeah. so weird obsessions became strange addictions <laughs> to uh, real life shit um that was weird <laughs> yeah that was weird but I think that is the last video we're going to do today to keep the video semi-short. Um, thank you guys for watching, as always. I had fun, did you ever? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I saw a lot of weird stuff. I uh, got grossed out. Uh, <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah, I was speechless a couple of times. Like, I don't even have words. <laughs> Definitely an interesting show. So that's that for this episode. Um, if you guys have any TikToks you guys want to react to, any TikTok topics or yes. ideas, shoot them over. Uh, there's also other few ideas that we could possibly do. So uh, it doesn't have to be TikTok. There's always... Um, we could try Facebook Reels, mm -hmm. Instagram, and also any other content that you might find on youtube that you yeah. think we might find interesting and you would want to see us react to sky is the limit so send those videos in i will put the links below and as always make sure you like this video subscribe to our channels and comment share it out whatever tell your friends about us laugh whatever laugh whatever you laugh whatever don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications because kind of like this episode you never know when it might just show up on the youtube so again one more time because this is just again so freaking weird to me if you're liking if you're watching this video go like it just click yeah click it's cool if you like me like the video if you like her like the video if you laughed like, like the, video. the video if you didn't laugh like the video yeah and then if you didn't laugh tell us why and then give us something better to do on the next episode hey <laughs> there's an idea but thank you guys for watching mm -hmm. this episode of mad whack and sunray reacts to Strange addiction TikToks. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.